try and check this valve and see if the clearance is going to work. Well, the first thing I think we've got to do is got to put this valve in here and then put these guides around it some way. opened. Now it closed and now the intake is opening. Okay. So that, that should have that one all the way down. So now I got to get, uh, gosh this stuff is awful. I got my feeler gauges in there. I got the valve back in and I put some lapping compound on the now I'm going to get this little suction cup. Let's me uh, spin the valve in the, on the seat here. Slide off. Okay. Let's see if how that looks now. I'm going to take out the guides every time. So I can take it out and look at it. Okay, ideally, we'd like that little gray line in the middle. Right, right in the middle of this, which is perfect right there. And what we want is a continuous gray line all the way around, which is what we've got. So I'm gonna call this valve good to go. The only thing we gotta do now is cut off the end to allow for the clearance. And the way we do that is we grind it uh, in the uh, valve, valve grinder machine, so. What I've done here is I've set up a, I uh, well, can't see it, can you? Okay, pull this back. I've set up a dial indicator on the end of the valve to show me how much I'm taking off on this end up here. So when I move it off there, it goes across the wheel over here. Okay. I bring it back and pull this back. Okay, so you can you can see what I'm doing there. Okay, we'll leave that there for now. Okay, let's try it again. Thousands. There's one. There's two. OK, 
Okay. So now I'm going to take it out. Look at it here. As you can see we've got a really nice, really nice grind here. Just the right way to reflect. We're not we're not a hundred percent though. We're right there. We're not all the way around, but that's. I think we're going to have to take a little more off because he ground quite a bit off the valve here. But as you can see, we got a pretty good, a nice, even lap in there on the valve. So that's looking good. So let's take it back over to the car and see what kind of clearance we got now. First thing I want to do is wipe this out. Should get all that crud out of there. The only good news is it's going to go right out the exhaust if there's any kind of residue, but I'm going to wash this out real good. Before we do a final assembly anyway. So now, where did I put the valve? I'll drop that in there. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And now we'll put in our uh, guides. Where did I lose the guides? There's one. The other one. So, let's see what kind of clearance we got now. On the other valve, on the other exhaust valve, we had 14,000, so let's just see how close we are here now. Come on. Feel it going. I can feel it going down. So I think what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna put this in there like that. That's 14. I'm gonna put in the, grab my all right. I've got a 14 thousandths uh, shim here. And I'm going to stick it underneath the, between the valve and the tappet there. And I'm holding down, holding down firmly on the, on the valve, uh, top of the valve. And I'm, a, I'm on zero on my dial indicator. So I'm going to pull this out. And it moved to four thousandths. So we need to take four thousandths out to get to our 14. So, <clears throat> we'll head back over to the valve grinder and finish the job. <clears throat> I'm going to set this up right there. And I've got it so when this lever comes over and rests on here, I'm in line with the center of the valve. So I'm just going to bring this over to zero. See where we are. And now I'm going to turn it on and see if we're touching over here. We're just, 
Just touching it a little bit there, I see. Back. Okay, so now I'm like 4,000 under. Okay, we're just touching off there. And zero. And zero. There. And we'll take two more. Get it there. Should be our four thousands. Okay. All right. Okay. <laughs>